Hello, Ghost Hunters. The Ascension update brought all new items to the game, so let's take a look at the Tier 1 gear. Because all of us will be using this Tier 1 gear, at least at the beginning of each level of Prestige, I'd like to go over each item, how it works, and how it's different. The only item I'll be skipping is the flashlight, since it's basically the same flashlight from the previous version of the game. So let's start with our evidence gathering tools. This small laser pin projects a small beam of light into the environment. It has a narrow beam and a range of 5 meters. This item is placeable and should be used near the ghost. In my experience, this is hard to see as the freezing breath can easily obscure the physical appearance of the ghost. So you may want to upgrade this item first. This reader is very different than our previous version. It has a very low range at just 1.7 meters and it has low accuracy. If you see your needle rapidly moving above a 5, then you know your ghost has EMF 5 as evidence. This item also has a different sound at a 5 reading versus a lower reading. Although it is quiet and hard to hear, this item is also electronic, so make sure it's turned off during hunts or when not in use. The Tier 1 Ghostwriting Book is actually a notepad with a pencil. It is harder to read and not as obvious when the ghost has written on the notepad, so check it frequently. Also important to note that this item has a low interaction rate and a range at 3 meters. It is now a placeable item. If you notice your ghost is active in a certain area, it is worth moving this item to that spot to hopefully encourage your ghost to write in it. The Tier 1 version of this item has been giving some players some grief. It works a little differently than the old Spirit Box. Because this item is a Tier 1 version of the Spirit Box, it has a lower range at just 3 meters, lower audio quality, and a low response rate. In other words, you need to be within 3 meters of the ghost for it to respond on this Spirit Box. So if you're struggling with this item, it may be time to invest in a higher tier. The red light will flash when the ghost has heard you, and if it flashes white, you've got a response. Here. Remember, being heard doesn't mean you are in range to receive a response. Also, this item is electronic, so you'll need to turn it off during a hunt or when not in use. The Tier 1 thermometer is definitely old school. This is an item you'll want to bring inside early and leave it near the ghost while it slowly drops to the room temperature. With this update, freezing breath happens even when it's not freezing. Turning on the breaker may help players identify the ghost's room, but remember that it takes much longer for this item to reach the room temperature. So put it in the ghost area first. Its accuracy is medium and its sample speed is low. So it may take a while to get the freezing temperatures you're looking for. You may remember glow sticks from before the Ascension update, but these items are different than our old glow sticks. In my opinion, they are much improved. Glow sticks last for 60 seconds, but you can now shake them to get a little extra use out of them. Fingerprints and footprints can now be charged up with a glow stick so that they can be photographed. UV charge time is 10 seconds for the glow stick. It also provides area light. The quality of the Tier 1 video camera is fairly low and paranormal interference is high. In other words, it will be much harder to see what is happening when using one of these items. With the Ascension update, the ghost can now knock down or throw video cameras when not on tripods, and this item has a high knockdown chance. It is also an electronic, so make sure you do not have it in your hands during a hunt. We can't talk about video cameras without talking about tripods because video cameras can be knocked over, using a tripod decreases the chance of the ghost knocking your camera over. The Tier 1 tripod has a medium knockdown chance. The Tier 1 crucifix has had quite the downgrade from the crucifix you are used to. This item has a 3 meter range, which you can see if you place the item rather than dropping it. It only has one use, and it is consumable. Consumable items are used up during hunts if consumed in any part. In other words, if you place a crucifix and the ghost is blocked by hunting, it will be consumed during your investigation and need to be purchased again before your next hunt. You remember candles, right? That's basically what this is. 
Fire Lights upgrade to a candelabra and a lantern, so that may be why this category name changed. But these are not the same as the old candles. You may remember that the old candles completely stopped Sanity Drain. Well, that is not a thing anymore. Not for any level of the firelight. This tier 1 candle will only provide 33% sanity drain reduction. On top of this, it is a consumable and will need to be replaced if used during the investigation. Its range is only 2 meters, so it will be very dark when using this as your light source. It is placeable, and its duration is just 3 minutes. Also, those candles inside the location, they're not movable at all, and they do not reduce sanity drain either. If you bring a candle during an investigation, make sure you bring something to light it with. The Tier 1 Igniter is a matchbox. Unlike the lighter from before this update, this item only has 10 uses. It is consumable and its duration is just 10 seconds. It provides a small light source, but in my opinion, that small light source might as well be nothing. Like candles, smudge sticks got a new name and category. These are now called incense. The tier 1 incense has a smaller range with just 3 meters and a shorter duration with just 5 seconds. In addition to this, it is consumable, so use wisely. No more burning the smudge sticks when you get to the van to leave. No matter how you word it, this item has gotten a huge buff. The tier 1 camera may have a lengthy time between photos, but you can take as many as you want. So, if you have a ghost that's hard to get a photo of, you have plenty of shots to attempt to get the photo. This item does state that it will only interfere with the ghost during the photo taking process, so I would assume that this means the ghost cannot detect a handheld camera during a hunt, unless of course you attempt to take a photo. While the salt did get a downgrade to just two uses, overall it's actually more useful now. Because fingerprints are now called ultraviolet evidence, this means players can use the salt to get evidence. When the ghost steps in the salt, if you get ultraviolet footsteps when using a UV light, then you know your ghost has ultraviolet evidence. This makes salt a very useful and cheap tool for figuring out your ghost type and for getting money and XP earning photos. Keep in mind that the salt is consumable, so if you use it, you'll have to rebuy it for your next contract. Restoring Sanity has had a small rework in the game. Previously, players could pop some sanity pills and instantly restore a chunk of sanity. Now, when taking sanity medication, players will restore sanity over time. For the Tier 1 Sanity Medication, Insane Away, Sanity Restoration Speed is 30 seconds. This means for players to get the full effect of the Sanity Medication, they must wait 30 seconds. This item is also consumable and will need to be repurchased once it's used. The Tier 1 Sensor is much like its previous version. You'll notice that the sensor can be turned off by clicking on the front of the sensor. It can still be placed on walls and floors. Its sensor shape is a line, and it has a light indicator, but no audio indicator. It is placeable and electronic, so it will speed up the Raju and should not be held during ghost hunts. Much like the parabolic microphone from before the update, this one can hear and pick up paranormal sounds. It has a range of 20 meters, which is increased with further tiers. It is electronic, so it should not be held during hunts or left on when dropped on the ground. The major difference with this item is that it will muffle all outside sounds for the player using the item. This item is very different than its previous version. Keep in mind that it's now headgear and not head cams, although the tier 1 headgear is a camera. This does take up a head slot, which is now an equipable slot. The image quality is medium, but from my personal experience, it feels like low. Paranormal interference is medium, but with the quality of the camera, it doesn't really matter. This item is an electronic, which means you cannot have it on during a hunt. This is where the item becomes an easy way to die in the game. The Tier 1 headgear camera begins in the off position. If you hold T, or whatever key you have bound to toggle your flashlight when it's not in your hand, then it will turn on. You will hear this audible sound. The problem is that when you turn it off, it is the same sound. And there is no indicator that it is on or off, unless of course you're in the van. In other words, when the ghost begins to hunt, and you press and hold T to turn off your head cam, if your flashlight was off, it will now be on, but your head cam will be off. 
so you'll have to press T again to turn that flashlight off. But if your head cam was off and you accidentally hold T instead of just tapping it to turn your flashlight off, then you've now turned your head cam on, and you'll need to press and hold T again to turn the camera off, but it will turn your flashlight back on. So the best way to avoid this from happening is just to remove your head, which the ghost will be by shortly to do for you. In other words, skip this item, as it may be novelty at first, it certainly loses its luster after a few face hugs. I saved my favorite for last. The Tier 1 sound sensor looks like the old sound sensors. Simply place them in any area where you want to hear sound. But now when you return to the truck, you'll notice that it has two ranges, 5 meters and 10 meters. This allows you to hear farther if need be and cover more area, but then reduce it if you want a more refined area. The sensor shape is circle, and this item is an electronic, so it will speed up rage use and should not be held during a hunt. But what makes this item awesome is that you can now hear the sound it picks up when you're in the truck. In small locations, placing one sound sensor and then returning to the truck to save your sanity may be a great way to pinpoint the location of your ghost without wasting time in the dark. Also, you'll now be able to track the ghost during a hunt depending on how well you've placed your sensors. Okay, so that covers all of the Tier 1 equipment. I'll be making videos for each item and explaining each tier and why some tiers are better than others in future videos. I think it's clear which items were my favorite and which ones were less loved. Which tools do you like? Did you love the Tier 1 changes or are you grinding your way to leveling up to Tier 2 or 3 to get away from something specific? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, remember to like and subscribe, and as always, happy hunting! This one can hear and pick up porn. Porn. It can pick up porn. <laughs> no, it cannot pick up porn. <laughs>